I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on mathematical induction. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and providing excellent suggestions. The questions here come from one of our subscribers and I hope its solution will help many others. We'll use the method of mathematical induction to prove some formulae and in this playlist you will see the most interesting and the most useful formulas. So you can actually mark this playlist as a formula list for yourself. So let's begin with these two questions. Use mathematical induction to prove the formula. 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus so on till 4n minus 3 equals 2 n times 2n minus 1 where n belongs to natural numbers. Now in most of the cases n will be a natural number. b is 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus so on till 3n minus 2 equals 2 n times 3n minus 1 over 2 half of this that is where n belongs to natural numbers. You can actually pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. The idea of taking two similar questions is that I'll provide you a solution of one. The other one, you can follow the same method and solve. So let's see how to do it. Now in the method of induction, there are basically three steps. For any given function as it is given here, uh, we will first find the value of the function at 1 and we will prove that it satisfies. Then we will assume that it, it is true for m. We will assume true. However, we will prove that if this is true, then for m plus 1, it works. And if that is the case, then we have shown that for all natural numbers, then it means that for all natural numbers, the formula works. So this is the strategy which we are going to use. And this strategy, in short, is the mathematical induction, right? So the first question here is 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus so on. And we have here 4n minus 3 is equal to n times 2n minus 1, where n belongs to natural numbers, right? <clears throat> now, so first step here, we'll, we are calling all this as our polynomial, right? So what we are doing here is that we are calling this as our polynomial, a function, right, this series. So this is our function Pn. Is it okay? Now what is the value of this function at 1? That is what we'll try to see. So if n equals to 1, right? If, if n equals to 1, then we need to see what happens to this formula, right? Is it 1? That's what. So if we know the first value of this is 1 only, right? So we have to check with the formula. So, so we plug in this 1 in the formula. So we get 1 times 2 minus 1, which is indeed 1. Right? So that means it is true. Right? So we'll write so that for p equals to 1, it is true. Right? That means we have confirmed the very first step. Is that clear? Now, the second step is let... So let means we are assuming that P of M is true, right? So, so for any other natural number, we'll say that 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus so on till 4M minus 3. We say all this, let all this be equal to M times 2M minus 1. Right? where of course m will be a natural number. 
so that is our assumption so let means assumption right so this is our assumption now what do we need to show we need to actually show what is p of m plus 1 equal to so if I write p of m plus 1 then the left side of the series will be 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus so on of course this term plus m plus 1 means 4 times let me write a square bracket m plus 1 do you see m plus 1 minus 3 so that is the additional term next term also it is true that's what we're trying to say that should be equal to m plus 1 and here will be 2 times m plus 1 minus 1 so this is what we need to prove now if that is true then the formula works for any natural number perfect so i i think you got the uh, strategy behind it right okay so so let's work on this so what we will do here is that we can actually work on both the sides so the simple way which we are going to do is to work on both the sides of this equation and then check at the end whether it is really true or not perfect so what we learn just now from our assumption that all this is what all this is the let statement which is m times because some of this will be m times 2m minus 1 right and then we are left with plus 4 times m plus 1 right so I did not write m plus 1 so, so the next term right so in this series 4m plus 1 minus 3 so that is your left side correct you can also say that this is equation 1 for you which you substitute here right so you substitute this here on the right side what do we have on the right side we have m plus 1 times open this 2m plus 2 minus 1 which you could write as m plus 1 and this is 2m plus 1 right you could expand this so let me expand this we know what we are getting into 2m square plus m plus 2m plus 1 correct and uh, that combines to give you 2m square plus 3m plus 1 so this is what we need on the right side when we simplify this correct now let us open this and then see what do we get so on the left side we get 2m square minus m plus open this 4m plus 4 minus 3 and then if you combine we get 2m square that gives you 3m right and 4 minus 1 is 1 so what do you notice you notice that the left side and the right side are equal so they are indeed equal so we have shown that it is true for m plus 1 also and therefore we have shown that the formula works right so we have shown hence formula works is that clear right so so these are the critical three steps to be shown to prove by induction that this formula is true is that clear to you right now i like you to pause the video try out the next one yourself follow similar steps and um, that means you have understood, right? Let me take it on a new page. Now let us solve part B. Use mathematical induction to prove the formula 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 till 3n minus 2 equals to n times 3n minus 1, everything divided by 2, where n belongs to natural numbers. 
So let's see what is P of 1 in this case, right? So that is always the first step. We'll substitute 1 here. So 1 times 3 minus 1 divided by 2. Right? That is what it is. So it is uh, 2 over 2 and that is 1. So, so that is true. So first step is done. Second step is find the value for any m where m belongs to natural numbers. So, so that will be what? So we say let. So that is always a let statement. Let pm be true. Okay. So that means, so that implies that 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus so on till 3 times m minus 2 is equal to m times 3m minus 1. Now let me write half like this. Clear? So this we'll call our r equation 1. Now what is pm plus 1? What is pm plus 1? pm plus 1 will be 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus so on. Of course this term, second last term, and the last term will be 3 times m plus 1 minus 2. Now that should be equal to half of m plus 1 times 3 times m plus 1 minus 1. Is that true? So we need to actually prove this to prove. You get the idea, right? So that is the whole idea. Now. So it has basically two sides, the left side and the right side. So in this case, what is the left side? So left side is all this plus a new term. So we look into these. Now the first part of this is basically equal to half of m times 3m minus 1. Correct? So this we have taken from from here. That is our let statement, right? This we have taken from here, right? Now we'll add to this the additional term, which is 3 times m plus 1 minus 2. That is our left side, correct? So, so what we will do here is that we'll just open this up and see what is this equal to, right? So what we get here is half of, we'll just open this up. So we get 3m squared minus half of m plus 3m plus 3 minus 2, okay? So the term here is 3 by 2m squared combining these two taking away half from here gives us what? So that means uh, this is 6 minus 5. So we'll say, uh, okay, so we'll do plus 3 minus half. Let me write like this. And then we'll do it in the next step. Plus 1. Is it okay? Now that gives you 3 by 2 m square plus this is 6 minus 1, right? So it is 5 by 2, m plus 1. So that is our left side, clear? Now let's look into the right side. On the right side, let me rewrite this. So we'll say right side is what? So we have half m plus 1 and within the bracket we have 3m plus 3 minus 1. So that gives you half m plus 1 and here is 3m plus 2. So that gives you half and let's open the bracket now. So 3m square plus 2m plus 3m plus 2 which is half of 3m square and 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 2 
and if you open the bracket or you could close this one and say if I take half common here then what do I get I get m square plus 5m plus 2 correct and that is the left side and this is the right side they are exactly same so we have shown that left side equals to right side and we have shown that p of m plus 1 is also true since it works for pm plus 1 on the assumption that pm is true it is true for all natural numbers so the formula is true for n belongs to natural numbers so that is the conclusion and these are the steps involved to prove a mathematical induction perfect so I hope that works. Feel free to write a comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.